What's good, YouTube? Thank you very much to John Moore for having me on his great channel. Um, whilst I'm not helping people fall asleep on my ASMR channel, I'm actually playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I managed to come second um, at the Melbourne Mega Regional in Australia at the YCS. Um, it was my first ever YCS, first ever regional, and I was really, really uh, surprised that I managed to come second with this deck. I'm playing True Draco Invoked for this format. Um... So big thanks to John Moore for having me on the channel, and we'll get right into it. Um, the reason why I wanted to play this deck was simply just because I um, felt that Spyro was a deck that was going to have a lot of counter to it at the YCS, and it did. Uh, granted, I went X3 at the main event, so unfortunately I didn't make it to Day 2. But on the second day, they hosted a Mega Regional with 128 players, and I managed to come second. So um, we'll just quickly get in the main deck. So, two Masterpiece. Um, one I usually would use to fuse, the other for tribute summoning, um, it's pretty standard. Um, one Mariame, um, this was something that I decided to put in very last minute, because, uh, Gamma was so much of a threat, there was nothing more, um, threatening to an opponent than activating a diagram, setting a back row, your opponent's thinking the back row's maybe a spell or a trap, a Draco spell or trap, um, they're thinking you're going to pop that with Diagram to plus off the heritage you're going to search, but um, it usually most of the time would just be some sort of generic spell or trap, and when they would attempt to interrupt that with a Ghost Ogre or a Ash Blossom, I would punish them with Gamma, and instead I would pop Mariame. Also because the Spiral build has now changed to a Control Go Second deck, um, it was important for me to capitalize on playing slower, and um, Spyro players are more than happy to just pass if you decide to go second, which this deck is a blind second, so um, Mariama was fantastic. If you can set up the True King's Return and Mariama loop to just keep plussing and plussing, you basically win the game. Um, so that was really intense. I really, this really did promote a lot of, um, spicy techs and helped me win a lot of games. And I think she's great now that Gamma is a thing. And now Draco has some sort of protection to that, um, field spell disruption. One Majesty Maiden and one Ignis Heat. Um, I'm deciding maybe to cut this out, uh, the Majesty Maiden, but they're fantastic. Um, pretty, pretty simple. So it's a small Draco monster count. Three Alistair the Invoker. Um... What can I say, Alistair? The Invoked Engine is proven to be one of the best, if not the best, one-card engine in the game right now. Um, just the boss monsters it produces is really powerful. Um, your win condition is a Masterpiece Mechaba, and at that point, your opponent has to basically scoop. So getting into the stuff I hate, Hand Traps, Unnecessary Evil, 3 Ash, um, pretty obvious. 3 Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, which I decided to main last minute. Um, I was very polarized with this card, um, because, I don't know, it's just, eh. But I decided to main deck it, and it did win me the games, so. Three Gamma. Um, it was literally, if you could resolve Gamma, uh, when they try to pop your diagram or try to troll you on resolution on your terraforming searching, um, you basically won the game, because... Um, I love this deck because it does a lot of field spell searching and it has so much ash bait that um, if my opponent attempts to disrupt it, they'll get punished. And Omega is so, so strong. <laughs> so, there's that. And then two Ghost Ogre in the main deck. Um, if I regret one thing, it would be maining Ogre as much as I love Ogre and she wins games against the Rogue matchup. I'd probably side her next time um, because maining 14 hand traps is just a bit inconsistent. Um, however, I went X1, so I, I don't know. I'll probably end up signing her, but when Spiral Format is over, I'll main her at 3, probably. One God card. And then into the spells. 3 Terraforming. Um, nothing to be said there. 3 Diagram. Um, again, standard. 1 Meltdown. Um, I was thinking of playing this at 2 because the Invoked Engine is too good, um, but 1 was fine. 2 Invocation. Um... I was thinking maybe putting this at 1, but the amount of times I'd get Lanceared uh, and destroy my Invoked Engine pretty sucked. Um, granted, Omega can loop loop it back, but other than that. Into the True Draco spells, um, 2 Heritage and 1 Disciples. I originally played three, uh, 4 spells and 4 traps, but I thought that 3 would be fine because my deck could brick quite a lot with the hand traps. 2 Desires. 
Um, it was iffy for me whether or not I wanted to play the Spellbook engine or Desires, but I decided to go with Desires because the Spellbook engine, its normal summon is on Blue Boy, and in this deck, your normal summon is, um, is, is extremely important and needs to be on Alistair. So I decided to just main, uh, get rid of the Spellbook engine and main the Desires, and also, a lot of the time, you can't Gamma them after you summon your blue boy, you search your knowledge, you activate knowledge, you can't gamma them if they try to ash you, or as a lot of the time I was actually lucky enough not to banish my driver, so when they ashed me I could win the game with Omega. And then finally the traps, one return and two apocalypse, um, and then finally I decided to only main two evenly matched. Um, I decided not even to uh, side the third one, but two is perfect because this card, while it is it can win games. Uh, it's it's pretty bad if you see multiples of them, and um, a lot of spiral players are more than happy, as I said, to just pass if they are going first and you decide to go second. So this is great against other matchups that I had. And that's all for the main deck. Into the extra deck, uh, we have two invoked Mechaba. Um, a lot of people say you need to play three of these. I have three, but I thought that two is more than fine. Games shouldn't last long enough so that you have to go into the third one. And I didn't want my extra deck to be reliant on Mechaba as people were running Mechaba as a cherry's target. Two Purgatrio, this guy just <laughs> steals games. Uh he's he's pretty pretty funny with the shenanigans. Um he he wins games. He's just OTK, like a bootleg ultimate conductor Tyranno. Two Ragin. Um Ragin is the worst invoked monster when you're going against the Spiral matchup, but against Pendulum Magician, he's a blowout. Because if they Pendulum summon and you Book of Moon their extra monster zone, you win. One Kaliga and one Megalanica. Um, he's just beefy boy. Nothing to be said there, and Kaliga is just great for slowing down the game, and you can make Baguska with an Alistair with him, so, yeah. Speaking of Baguska, we have one Sleepy Boy. And we have the one Omega. And then we have the proxy dragon, so we can make we can get a light attribute monster if we're needing to make a mecha bar out of Alistar and maybe some other kind of monster. And then into the cherries targets, <laughs> we have ABC Buster, Toad, Dante, and Double Helix. I never ended up going against ABC or Paleo or Burning Abyss. And into the side deck, so my deck was built to go second, blind second, and then in game two, I would side for going first. So I played the one Skilled Rain and the one Imperial Order. Um, if I could get out the Skilled Rain, I basically won all of my Spiral matchups in the Mega Regional. And then this card was an absolute blowout, um, Prohibition. Um, it's also a big reason why I didn't want to play Spiral, so I could play this card, because they can't summon or attack with Agent, they can't activate its effects, they can summon Spiral Tough, but it can't attack because its name becomes Spiral Super Agent, and it cannot activate its pop effect, they can't activate Double Helix's effect, so if I could get this out and call Spiral Super Agent, my opponent couldn't do anything. Um, They would have to try and get as many resources in the grave to get Sleeper out to pop this, but by that point it'd be game. So, um, definitely a great card. It's also a pseudo mind crush you can call evenly matched. Um, but I didn't run in any mind crush because my deck is a control deck and it sits on boss monsters and doesn't commit resources to the board. Rather, it keeps its resources in hand in the form of hand traps. Two Unending Nightmare. Um, I didn't actually get to use this, which sucks, but eh. And two strikes for going first. Uh, two barrier. Um, this was a blowout in the Pendulum matchup. Uh, <laughs> two Droll and Lockbird. As much as I love Droll, um, if you got Gamut once, you essentially lost. And I didn't really want that to happen because um, Gamma, if I get Gamut, I lose. So my matchups were three Spirals, a Pendulum Magician, an Infernoid, one Mirror Match, and a Nurse Burn. Um, <laughs> and Nurse Burn actually went X2 at YCS, but got knocked out on day two. Um, so... The spiral matchups were all very difficult. They were very grindy games, but um, blind second was a fine idea, and um, Mechaba masterpiece was just too strong for them to deal with. Uh, Pendulum magician was also 
uh, nice and easy when I managed to get out the evenly matched and uh, cherries the Omega. And aside from that, Infernoid was also a pretty hard matchup. I almost got OTK'd in game 2 but managed to Gamma when he was attempting to activate a monster effect and I had plus 7 off max C anyway. And aside from that, that was pretty much it. Um, big shout outs to John. Thank you very much for um, featuring me on this channel. Hope you guys are doing great and we'll see you all next time. Peace.